Welcome to Endless Relaxation and this quick iMovie tutorial. So you open iMovie, go to Create New, and then click on Movie. And here you can drag and drop your video clips or photos from your browser. I always go to Finder, click that, search for the movie I want to use. And let's use this one right here. I'll drag it down. And my clips are usually short unless it's super quiet outside. And it never seems to be. It's always some kind of distraction. So I just extend it and I just put transitions in between each clip. I like the cross dissolve. You can adjust the time. I usually have it on one second. Sometimes not. So then I copy and paste that video clip right next to the transition. Easy peasy. And there's that. And then at the end, depending how long I was making my video, I put the fade to black so it fades out to black. Then I always put my name on my movie. I like this one right here, the chromatic lower third. Just click on that, go in and type whatever you want to type. I type in endless relaxation and you can adjust the fonts and the size. I don't particularly care for any of these fonts. Not that there's anything wrong with them, but there's this website called, I think it's dafont.com. And I just downloaded one off of there I like. Change the size, I always use 58. And then you can change the color. Let's try this blue here. Hmm, that's looking pretty sharp. And then I just drag this so it plays throughout the entire video. You don't have to, you can put it for however long you want. And then if I wanted to add audio, I would go here to audio. We'll take this song right here I downloaded from YouTube Studio, our YouTube audio library. And then if I'm talking at the beginning, I always lower the volume of the song. If I'm not talking, then I just let it stay. And then of course you want to play it to make sure it sounds good, looks good. Because something could be off, you never know. The transitions sometimes get me depending upon how long the video clip is. The transition will make it look super weird. See, I'm lowering the volume because I usually talk at the beginning of the video. And then just continue on, make sure everything's set right. Sometimes I forget to put transitions in between the clips. So then gotta double check that kind of stuff. Then if I don't want the audio, you can just detach the audio. So it depends what you want to detach it from. If you want to detach it from the video itself or no audio at all, then I just export the file. Here are all the different settings, depending upon um, how great you want your video to look. I usually use 1080 and sometimes high, sometimes medium. I always want to do it faster because I live in a jungle and it takes forever and ever to download. Um, supposedly you are able to just export it straight to YouTube. For some reason I cannot. So I have to download it to my Mac and then I upload it to YouTube. It's a process. It is a process, but it's all worth it. And that's that. And like I said, depending upon how long the video is, is how long it'll take. I mean, I've had videos take a day to download because they were longer videos. Just takes practice. And that's that. I hope everyone enjoys this quick iMovie tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Aloha.